Don't ask me this question. Yeah. Turn off the camera. We don't talk about this in public. Why not? Can you see why he knows nothing about this? Because his scholars don't know. Can you see the man behind him knows nothing about this? Because his scholars know nothing about it. Because they never heard this. You've never heard this before, have you? I'm getting weighted down with all these microphones. As all Muslims, we have this Quran, we read this Quran. Say again. All of us, we use this one. No, no, all of you. But what about this one? Okay, we're going to get to that. This one has a... Three or four letters, the, the, the different, because it's different reading. In How about 5,000? How about 5,000 letters no, different? No, no. You don't know, you don't even no, know where know, this guy was. Everyone, you don't everyone even know. Okay, let's use this one. This one so this is your Quran, right? Real quickly. And it is where did this man live? Muhammad. No, Hafs. Well, I don't Hafs care about Hafs. This one. <laughs> he just got, he just got done said, this, this is our Quran, right. which is true. This is the Quran that you use today. Yes. It's the Huff's Quran. Yes. Can you read that? Can you read it? You're a liar. Yes, you can read it. He's a liar. Okay. This is the one that Huff's used. Where was he born and lived? And when did he die? Okay, he's going to look up in his phone. He's not going to get an answer in his phone. Can you see why, folks? Why is this so troubling for him? It's because he knows that there's meant to be just one Quran. This is what his scholars tell him. But we know there isn't one Quran, there are many. And he can't validate how Hafs or Walsh knew Muhammad because they didn't know Muhammad. They were born a hundred or so years later. So four years ago yesterday, Yasser Qadi says, put away the camera. Put away the camera. Do not film me. We don't talk about this in public. Why not? That's why this man's never heard this argument before. Exactly, exactly. He knew nothing about this. What did he say next? What did he say about Al Jazari and about the last thousand years? Al Jazari, the greatest scholar on the Kirat oh, and the Ahru. This is called Kirat. Do you know what we're talking about? The readings. There are different readings of the Quran, different Arabic Qurans in a practical sense. But Muslims aren't told this. They are lied to. Say, I can show you my friend. I will bring you proof. I will bring you and I will show the crowd the different translations in Arabic. I will show you. Now listen to me carefully. I've never seen it in my life. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. To me carefully. To me carefully. There were scholarly opinions that changed throughout time about what different Qurans were acceptable and what Qurans were not acceptable. For example, Al Jazari in the 15th century, he changed the amount of Qurans that Muslims are permitted to use in masjids from seven to ten. He increased them in the 15th century. How is that possible, Muslims? Did you not know what the Quran was? Evidently not. Okay, here we go. So it was seven by Ibn Mujahid yes. in 936. Yes. Now we're in, let's go to the 12th century first. Let's go to Al Shatabi. Yeah. Al Shatabi, because there was a problem with yes. the seven. Yes. What was missing amongst the seven? The seven were in, in doubt about exactly which variant of those seven is the correct one. For example, this is not there. This ain't there. This is not in this those seven. There. Asim this is there. the Quran he loves the most. So you would have had Asim this there. is the Quran that yeah. you say is and the one everybody there. uses. It but there. it's not in the seven, is it? It's not, no. And that's the problem, wasn't it? Exactly. So Al Shatabi had to choose two students, two students from every one of those seven to transmit Asim's teachings. Why did he choose two? And why do they differ? Did you know half? He disagreed with his teacher, Asim, on what the Quran was. Do you know that? He, he argued with him. His recitation was different from his own teacher. <laughs> Folks, can you see? This is the first time this man has heard it. He's never heard this before. But hold on a minute. Thousands and thousands were watching that interview, weren't they? Absolutely, yes. And what did Asim Khadi, the world's leading authority on the kid, what did he say next? He said, we put a red line. We put a red line. There are some things we don't question. There are some things we don't look into. Because if we did, there will be problems for the Ummah, for Muslims. And he said, don't ask me about this. Don't go past that red line. 
And that, my, my friend, friend, ladies and gentlemen, is why Mohammed Ishaq accidentally got Dr. Yasakari to say there are holes in the narrative. Holes in the narrative! What holes and in what narrative? Standard Islamic, Islamic narrative. S-I-N. Wow. What does S-I-N spell? Sin. Sin. There are really holes in sin. Sin. We know, we know there are holes in sin, aren't there? Absolutely. We? But without any question, there are issues with what Muslims have been told for the last few decades about your Quran. It is falsehood. You are being lied to. Don't believe Muslim lies. Now, we, we know, we don't have this problem with the Bible, do we? Of course not, no. The reason why is we don't make this claim, do we? We don't make this claim. We know that the Bible is not eternal, right? We, we don't say the Bible's eternal. We know that the Bible was not sent down. It was written by men here. Exactly. And we know their names, don't we? We do. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we know the names of these Gospels. And Moses. We know who wrote them. And John, David. Moses, David. And Solomon. We know these things. So. We would not make that claim, right? We would not. What claim? We know that at one time they were all complete. Am I correct? Correct. And we know that there have been changes here and there. There have been variants, because variants are normal when you have copyists. We In the New it. Testament, about 40 of them. Yeah. Okay? So if this is the case, out of 6,000 verses, there are 40 that are in doubt. Yeah. Now, let me ask you. So we would never make these claims about the Quran that he's made today. We would never make this at all. But is the Bible the only word of God? Absolutely. No, it isn't. There's another word of God. Well, what's that? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. You forgot oh, about God. Jesus. Oh. Isn't Jesus the Logos? He is in John 1. And isn't that the word of God? Absolutely. And isn't Jesus the eternal word of God? He is, So yes. number one, he is eternal, right? Yes, he is. Wasn't Jesus sent down? He was sent down. So number two, he was sent down. Isn't Jesus complete? He is complete. So yes. number three, he answers that one. Yep. And has Jesus never changed? He has never changed. He has never changed. Never. Jesus is what they are looking for. Exactly. Jesus is the answer to their problems. Reject his love. It is falsehood. Embrace the Lord Jesus Christ and come to him. The one who loved you before you were born. This is not the eternal word of God. No. But Jesus is but the eternal Jesus word of God. Is. He is our word of God. Amen. Who is the King of Kings? Jesus. Who is the Lord of Lords? Jesus. Who is God in heaven? Jesus. Who is God on earth? Jesus. Who died on the cross? Jesus. Who then rose again? Jesus. Who is now in heaven? Jesus. Who waits for you and me? Jesus. Who wants to bring you home? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Thanks so much. God bless you. Oh.